Yarn Yarns and I'm going to show you today how to make this lovely little birdie. So lots of different fabrics stitched onto a soluble fabric and the fabric used in this one is Aquatics Romeo. So the Romeo soluble fabric is a little bit thicker than some of the other fabrics. It gives it that strength and that means that we don't need to necessarily put it in a hoop. So if you're doing a scarf or a long piece then Romeo is great for that. And I'm going to show you how to do these lovely birds. So what I'm doing today, I've cut myself my strip of Romeo and I'm going to use different fabrics. So it's a good excuse to raid your stash because let's face it, we've all got far too big a stash and we're never going to get through it all. So this way you can use up some scraps. So I've got things like a bit of ribbon, some fine habitai silk. I've also got this stuff some of you may be familiar with it because it's a millinery material, it's cinnamé. So it's a loose weave and it's actually made from banana straw. So that's cinnamé. I've also got some lace and then I've also got this stuff here which gives it a bit of twinkle. Great stuff, you've probably seen it around. Um, you can buy it from certain shops quite cheaply actually. It comes in a wider roll but you can trim it quite easily and very very effective. Then we've got a little bit of silk taffeta and then I've got a, a dark ribbon there. But what we're going to do is we're going to pin these to Romeo and I'm going to machine embroider in between all the pieces to catch them down. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to cut out a bird shape. Now. I know sometimes when you think about what can I do for design, what do I use for inspiration? Well, I got my inspiration from a Waitrose cookie cutter. I've, I've actually just drawn around it and we've got this lovely bird template. But if you have a look at your cookie cutters, there's all sorts of stars, hearts, they do cookie cutters and all sorts of things. And the beauty of that is that once we've got our lovely strip, I'll be able to cut out several birds out of this strip. So if you're doing decorations or you want to make quite a lot of something, it's easily achieved. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to pin my bits to here, but you don't have to always overlap them. There can be a bit of a gap. So we're just gonna just, just think you get extra dimension. It's a ribbon, all sorts of things. And then what I suggest you do is get some pins and pin them in place. So there, that's all pinned. It doesn't matter if you've overlapped, it doesn't matter if you've got gaps. I'm going to join all of these with some free machine embroidery and I'm going to join it together. And I'm using a really lovely thread today. I'm using a Madeira rayon that's actually variegated. And you're going to see how delightful that is. As I stitch up and down, the color will change and you'll just see why it's perfect to do this. So and I've got the same thread, top and bottom and we're on a straight stitch. Again, my teeth are down and I've got my free motion embroidery foot on and I'm going to start at one end and you'll see that I haven't got this in a hoop and we've got that flexibility. You have to kind of hang on to Romeo as you stitch but it's okay, you get used to it and I'm just going to do a few stitches and you can see the colour change. What's lovely about Madeira thread is that the colour does change. If you buy some threads and you're looking at the reel or the spool, they look really gorgeous on there, but when you sew, you might have to sew for quite some time before you see any colour change. So really I'm just making sure that these are stitched. I'm going to make my way down this bit and then I'm going to sew the cinema to the habitai. And then when I get to the other end, I'm going to sew the lace to the cinema. So I'm going to go up and down. And where it's, there's more of a gap, I'll have to just do a few more stitches. them all 
all together. So just really I've done some freehand wiggles and they're kind of stitched together. And now what I'm going to do is some free machine embroidery. I'm going to do a design. What you can do with your machine, if you've got some lovely decorative stitches, you could put the machine back to conventional sewing and select some decorative stitches and sew those down. Because they would be really, really nice. And the machines do such pretty decorative stitches nowadays. But I'm going to show you how to do some free machine embroidery. And the, what I'm going to do is show you how to stitch a flower. So I'm going to do a little flower, hopefully a five petaled one. And then when I've done my five petal flower, I'm going to move on. And because I need to do another five petal flower, I need to make sure that I move far enough away so that when I do my next petals, I'm not crashing into my first flower. I will then just make my way back over the central line. So the central line will be defined because I'll have stitched over that twice, but I'm not going to stitch over all the petals twice. That will just make it bulky and thick. So set off, come all the way down, and then do a flower. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, and then just move down the silk. And then do another flower, so one, two, three, Whiz on down. Oh, look, you can see my flowers. And I'm now just going to make a point of going over that central line again. It'll be there as well. So let's just get all the way to the bottom and then I'll turn it around and see what you think of that. So it's quite subtle. You can see the lovely flowers. But what you can do is change to a metallic thread, which is what I'm going to do now and I'm going to sew down here and we'll see what effect that has. I've changed the top thread to a superior metallic thread and it's a lovely blue which is going to look great on this pale blue silk. So my needle, I've, I've got a top stitch needle, it's a top stitch 90 and I had that in earlier, it's a great needle to use. Top stitch needles, if you don't already know, have a larger eye than the standard needle and they also have a large groove down the front of the needle which the thread sits in and it helps prevent the friction. These needles are ideal for sewing with metallic thread and the, this one in particular will last longer than a conventional top stitch needle because it is a titanium top stitch needle. What that means is it has a titanium coating and unlike a conventional top stitch needle, where a groove is cut out in the needle as you sew with whatever thread you're using, the titanium coating on this needle helps prevent the thread cutting that groove into the needle and therefore it's going to last that bit longer. And that's why a lot of people prefer to buy a titanium top stitch needle. So let's put it through its paces and let's see what free machine embroidering these flowers in metallic thread does for the design thread in and I'm just sewing ever so gently that flower now you'll notice I'm not going hell for leather with metallic thread it's a good idea not to because otherwise if you go too fast it's a bit like rubbing two sticks together you'll cause fire so give the metallic thread a chance to stitch and you'll get some great results I know it's tempting go really fast but I tell you what let's see what this looks like when it's done there we are, all stitched doesn't that look lovely so we've got some lovely metallic thread nice contrast and then you've got that variegated but overall you've got these lovely blues happening so we're ready to wash this out so with this one I tend to put it in the water and, and, and leave it in there for a bit actually because it's going to take some washing to get rid of that. So I'm going to just stand up, I can do that a bit better. Lift it out. I can feel it getting a bit, a bit leaky. And we want it to be a bit gloopy. Careful when you're washing out that you're not too close to your machine, you don't want to be mixing water with electricity. So what we want to do 
is just wash that out and then we need to leave that to dry. So let's have a look at these little birdies. One, two, three. Ta-da! So look, they're quite different, taken from the same batch. Quite pretty as well. So this, they're all ready to do a little bit of decorating. So you could uh, hand some beads on, glue some crystals. If you wanted to, you could have some little legs. You could have some string or thread. You could stiffen them and put some beads on the end. But I would make a little hole here and then you could hang them up. But both very pretty.